To help explain RNA editing, let's think back to how books were printed years ago. First, a manuscript would be created. The manuscript would then be sent to a typesetter who would painstakingly put the type in place. Then, an editor would proofread the typesetting and fix any errors. The book could then be printed. Now, imagine the original manuscript is the MECP2 gene, the typeset is the RNA, and the printed book is the MECP2 protein. Now, what happens if the MECP2 gene has some mutations? We can think of them as typos. All of us have an enzyme in each and every one of our cells called ADAR that acts like the editor, proofreading and correcting mistakes in RNA. We can actually hijack this naturally occurring process and put it to work to fix typos in MECP2. The lab of Gail Mandel at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland has already shown that they can introduce specific RNA guides into a petri dish of ret mouse neurons. These guides escort the ADAR to the typo, where it can get to work correcting it. Cool, right? The Mandel Lab is now repeating this experiment directly in mice to see whether their symptoms can be reversed. RNA editing is specific to a particular MECP2 mutation, so a library of these RNA editing therapeutics would need to be developed. One advantage of RNA editing is that you never end up with too much MECP2, which could be a problem. RNA editing is a major focus at RSRT, and we're also funding other labs that are using different approaches to achieve the same end result. The more shots on goal, the better. These experiments are made possible through RSRT funding. Your donations hard at work. Thank you. Stay tuned for updates as we continue to navigate our roadmap to a cure.